When you create an event list in Squarespace, Squarespace can add these calendar link buttons to every single event, one for a Google Calendar invite and one for an iCal link. While these are great, they're just simple text links, and it's kind of hard to tell that you can easily click on one to add it to your calendar. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use custom CSS to style those simple text links so that they look like clickable buttons. My name is Becca Hartpain, and welcome back to my channel. I love to teach Squarespacers how to create and customize their own websites. Now, in this tutorial, I am using custom code, and I've listed it in the description below. But I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so I can teach you how to install the code and how to change it so it looks perfect for your own website. Let's get started. So here we are inside Squarespace and we're looking at a list of events on my site. You'll notice I have the option for a Google Calendar and an iCloud link for every single event. And you can see by my cursor that when I hover over it, it's clickable, but there's no other indicator. So we're going to use custom CSS to turn those into buttons. Now, if you don't see those on your event list, hop into edit mode. And for the actual list of events, I want you to select edit section. And here you'll see show export links on this format menu. If you toggle that off, they'll go away. If you toggle it on, they'll be there. So now we're going to add some custom CSS to change the style. I'll select save and we'll navigate to design and then we'll click on custom CSS. Now the first code we're going to add is going to remove this divider dot right here because we're not going to need that anymore once those look like buttons. So I'm going to paste this code right here and it is listed in the description below. The next code that I'm going to add is going to adjust this Google Calendar link. I'll paste this code right here again in the description below. And now we have a yellow background for that Google Calendar link. And when we hover over it, it turns gray. Now you can change the color of either one of those. This right here has the background color and this right here is the hover background color. Let's say we want it to be like a light blue. I just changed up that hex color code and now it'll change to blue on a hover. Now next let's change the iCal link. I'm gonna paste that code right here. There we go. And now this one has a blue background that turns gray on a hover. Now there's one last code that I added that I wanted to list here just because I wanna separate the actual date and time from the links themselves. I'm gonna enter that line right here and that's gonna push the content down just a little bit. What we did was add just a little bit of a margin to the top. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you wanna change the background of the iCalendar link, it's the exact same thing that you would do to change the Google one. Just change this part of the code right here to whatever color code you want it to be. That way it'll match the style of your own website. After you've customized it, select save and you'll be good to go. And that's it for this quick and simple custom CSS tutorial. Again, those codes are listed in the description below. Just make sure you update that hex color code so it matches the style of your own website. And while you're playing around with those codes, feel free to do other creative things like maybe give it a border or a box shadow. Whatever you'd like to customize, CSS can make it happen. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.